All right, welcome back to another training video. In this video, what I'd like to do is talk about line diagrams or ladder schematics, depending on what you want to call them. They're kind of interchangeable, whether they're diagrams or schematics. Um, I've talked to some people that call them one way and then other people call them another. Remember, the, the type of uh, circuits we're going to be working with in this module are going to be some kind of industrial control circuits. So ladder diagrams are the kind of main way that we try to um, convey those circuits to each other or um, give us the ability to look at those circuits to do some troubleshooting. Now, like I said, it's sometimes called a ladder diagram and that's because how this circuit's gonna be set up is it's gonna be multiple rungs kind of dependent on each other or sometimes they're not totally dependent on each other but they will have the same power source and they probably will be inside the same electrical box. Uh, so with any uh, power or any control circuit, we're going to need power coming in. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that incoming power and we're probably going to run it through a transformer because most uh, control circuits are only going to run at about 24, 12, and or 120 volts depending on where you work and what those people, you know, like. So like I said, more than likely you're going to have 480 volts coming in and we need to bring it down. So in our case, we're going to have 120 volts coming in and we're going to bring it down to uh, 24 or 12. So let's go ahead and draw that transformer up because that's where everything starts. So as you remember, a transformer is going to be multiple bumps or coils kind of put together. And they're going to be, a, this will be your secondary side and then we're going to have our primary side right here. Okay, this one will go up, this one will go up. And this one up here is gonna be our 120 incoming voltage on our primary side, and we're gonna have 24 volts on our secondary, all right? So we've got our input power, um, and that's kinda of all we're gonna have for our transformer. And we're gonna get a little bit more into this power side um, in the motor controls and stuff like that, because there's a little bit more happening up here, uh, but right now we're just kinda of sticking to some very basic uh, ladder diagrams, okay? So usually it'll come over and then we're going to start our sides. So these are going to go all the way down. I'm going to try to draw them as straight as possible. And we can have multiple rungs inside this section. The, also, what we're going to do is we're going to need to put in a breaker or a fuse depending on what the engineer has designed. So I like to put them here on this first rung. They usually will just be drawn as a block with a, I, I like to put, I, either you'll have two amps above it, in the middle of it, to the side, we're gonna go ahead and put two amps inside of it because we get to draw it, so we get to do it that way. So we're gonna have our rating for our breaker right here, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start building circuits based on that. So every circuit we build will be under this breaker. So if this breaker pops, all these circuits will go bad, or all these circuits will no longer have power, I should say. Now, again, we're using a two amp breaker because most of our circuits we're using are gonna be pretty low voltage or low draw. So, coming over, what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw our first, our first line. So, our first one, we're just gonna have a switch. And this will just be a regular switch. And we're gonna get more into different types of switches um, here in just a second. But for right now, this would be the switch that I would probably say we're gonna use the most. We're gonna come over and I wanna do multiple lights, okay? And then it's just gonna go over back to our, our neutral. Now, if I wanted to have multiple circuits, I could come down here and start drawing another, another circuit. I can put a switch right here, and we can have another circuit, and then we can also, let's say we'll put a, uh, a siren or something like that, or a speaker over here going back okay so like I said multiple circuits keep going on down we're gonna start by doing one line and then we're gonna build onto it and yes one line could you know operate another line depending on how we had that wired together so when we get into relays we're really gonna start seeing multiple lines happen now one very important thing is right from this point all the way down all the way on these lines all the way up this this switch all has power right now so there's 24 volts of potential power on this side at all times. Unless the switch clicks over, or until the switch clicks over, it doesn't move to the other side. So once that switch goes, all this has power. 
So that kind of kind of concludes everything that we need to know right now about ladder diagrams. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into them way more. Um, but if you guys have any questions or uh, need any help, please let me know. Like I said, we're going to kind of go into these um, and we're going to do some simple ones and we're going to build onto them. And I'm just going to try to explain that as best I possibly can as we go along. So let me know if you need help. Let's go ahead and get started.